Thank you for watching this video about the creation of the advanced stock import file. If you haven't already done so, I would suggest watching the video about the creation of the basic import stock file first. Here we are logged into Seller Express. If you're looking to generate an advanced stock import file, click on Reports on the left hand bar. Then from the Report menu, select Advanced Stock Import File and All Suppliers. You'll notice tick boxes underneath for additional information. If you want to download this information, simply tick the boxes and click Generate. Otherwise, leave them unticked. Once the file has finished generating, you'll know as the status will have changed to Complete. Simply click to download. Now please do bear in mind that this will download as a .zip file, so if you do not have WinZip installed on your computer, you will need to do so. Find out more information about this on the help file linked in our description. Now, with the Excel sheet downloaded, you will notice your stock is listed in front of you. If you've ever used a basic import file before, the format of this sheet will be familiar to you, though there are a lot more options in the advanced stock import file. The first options we have are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go into any more information on them. The custom options link to the custom fields on each individual product. These are able to be created on the product page by yourself. You can put in personal information relating to each product in these fields. The price columns dictate the price on each individual marketplace. This is both the price that the item is being listed at right now, or alternatively, if you're looking to dictate what the price should be. Next, we have the price check columns. A Y in one of these columns will mean it will price check on this marketplace, and N means it won't. If it's blank, then no change will be made. Then we have our listing ID options. If you put your ASIN for Amazon or Play ID for Play, this will update the listing ID for your products on Seller Express. Our comment columns now give us the option to leave individual comments for each individual marketplace's item. And then finally, our list columns should be pretty clear. A Y means it will list on that marketplace, and N means it won't. It is extremely important to remember that the format of this sheet cannot be changed. You cannot add and remove columns, as this is how Seller Express knows what information to import and what information not to import. As with our basic import file, our barcode has become corrupted. So what we need to do is click on the column, right click, format cells, then go to number, set our decimal places to zero, and click OK. Our barcodes are now visible. It is important to do this before you save your file, otherwise the corrupted barcode will remain on your file. With the basic import file, it was required to have the Seller Express SKU. Since we have more information on the advanced stock import file, we can do away with this if it's better for you. As long as you have your own personal identifier and barcode included, then Seller Express will know what product to update and you can delete the Seller Express SKU. You can, of course, continue to use the Seller Express SKU if you'd like, though this offers you greater flexibility if you're receiving supplier quantity files on a day-to-day -day basis. As well as editing a couple of items this time, let's create a new product for our database as well, shall we? Now, to create our new product, all we need to do is leave the Seller Express queue blank. As there isn't a product that matches up to the Your Identifier and Barcode listed, Seller Express will automatically create a new product. So let's get this file imported into Seller Express. Select Save As, 
and then name the file whatever you want. Make sure to select your file type as a CSV file. Back in Seller Express, click on Inventory and then Import Products. Make sure to select Advanced as your select import type and then browse for your file. From the import options, make sure to have ticked the right ones, as these do have a massive impact on how your file is imported. If you're not sure what any of them do, please refer to the help file in this video's description. When you're ready, click Import. It can take 20 to 30 minutes for this file to import, so don't worry that they don't change instantly. You will receive an email once the import has been completed. If any of your files have been rejected, please have a look at the help file linked in our description, which includes the most common reasons why your files might be rejected. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're looking for more information, please do read the help files in the description or sign up at www.sellerexpress.com.